Yo, what's good gamers? Today I'm gonna to be doing a, basically an overview of everything that I'm doing differently since the last time I posted kind of a config video. Um, I got uh, some changes to my config and I also got uh, all my settings in here that I wanted to pass along because I've been getting asked a lot like what's my view model, my sensitivity, etc. So I'm gonna run over all of that, the change to the config, and also just kind of talk about the state of the game in the current moment as it's actually in a pretty good spot. But before I do that, I'm just gonna run the sponsor of this video. Okay, so after an update that Valve did, they actually fixed crouching, and I would recommend sub-ticking your crouch, which I'm going to show you guys how to do. Uh, and the only thing that this is really going to change is if you're using a jump bug bind. And if you're using a jump bug bind, the best one is still to use the D-sub-tick one. Uh, as you can see, these are the clips combining the sub-tick crouch and the D-sub-tick JB bind. Everything functions actually amazingly. Uh, it feels kind of unreal. Um, but, you know, they fixed that. Uh, so jump bucking feels really good, sub tick crouch feels good, and it allows for manual LJs. They also fixed ladders. Uh, ladders used to feel kind of RNG-esque for a while, uh, and before the point where they felt RNG, they felt amazing, and then called arms kind of dropped, and then for some reason they just became like horrible for a period of time. So now they're back to feeling crisp and the way that they should have. So I'm going to show you guys how to install that JB bind right now and sub tick your crouch. To make the necessary changes, you just want to go to your Steam library, find Counter-Strike 2 and right click it, go to properties, and then go to the tab that says installed files and hit browse. In here, you're going to want to click game, CSGO, CFG, and it will take you into this file directory right here. Now, if you don't have an auto exec already, what you want to do is right click anywhere that's blank and hit new and then go to text document and it's gonna create a new text document as you see here and you're just gonna to wanna to open that up in notepad and then paste what I have in the description there right into here. Now you can change the bytes here if you anything is different and then you just wanna hit file, save as, and then change the save as type from .txt to all files and then you wanna name it autoexec.cfg and hit save. Now, that will give you the auto exec, but it won't give you the jump bug bind. The way that I have my jump bug bind set up is in a separate CFG file. So what you would do is, is you delete that new text document that you made, and then you would rinse and repeat the same process, making another new text document, opening it up, pasting in that jump bug bind, pressing file, save as, save as type, once again, change it to all files and name it jb.cfg, and then hit save. And that's gonna give you the auto exec, and the JB bind, and then the last thing that you need to do is come back into your properties tab here, and then hit general, and then where it says launch options, you just wanna type plus exec space auto exec, and then everything should be running flawlessly. So that's about it for important changes that you need to make to make your game run the best it possibly can be when it comes to movement. Lastly, I've been requested a lot uh, for my sensitivity, my view model, and some binds that I use. Uh, I'm gonna put them all in the description for you guys to copy and paste into your console. I don't really want to make a whole subsection of this video for that. I hope this video helped you guys out. I'm always out here trying to improve the community and relay information that I think is important and also do my own testing to make sure that what I'm telling you guys is true. Uh, and you know, I really appreciate you guys for all the support that I've gotten on my videos. It's honestly surreal to me and yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace out y'all.